Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and welcome to a, another video. So um, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how I did this look. Um, I posted a picture of it the other day, so I'm basically, most of the look is used um, doing this hard candy palette. This is the Mod Claude Baked Eyeshadow in Brownie Point. So it's got um, four baked shadows. Um, we have a white one, a kind of mauve one, a dark brown one, and like a reddish one. I don't use this one, but I use the rest of the three. And then I go just a little bit into my Wet n Wild Color Icon palette. And this is in the Naked Truth. Um, I use this uh, base shadow right here and then this deepest brown right here. Um, so this whole look basically for the eyes is a drugstore look. So I hope you like it. Um, I wanted to thank you guys for all the opportunities this page has thrown my way. I know all of you guys don't know everything that happens and all the messages that I get and all the people um, that contact me because of it. But I have had some amazing opportunities uh, thrown my way recently in life. And seriously, it is just a beautiful thing to watch this finally start to bloom. This is what I've always wanted to do since I was a little girl. So thank you so much as always for making my dream a reality. And if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Okay, so I'm going to recreate the look that I posted on my page the other day using my hard candy palette. Um, so I've already done my foundation. I mixed my Revlon Color Stay with the new foundation I got. Um, this is the cover blend. I got it from Ulta. This was like one of the testers. Um, so I mixed those together and I used my sponge to apply that. And then I also did my brows using my Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz and my Maybelline Definer Brow. And then I used some of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer just under and over my brows to give them just a little bit of shape. So now I'm going to prime my eyes using my MAC Soft Okra. And this is just um, basically an eye primer. Or you could use it as a base if you were going to do just a cream shadow on your lid. But I'm not, so I'm also going to use an actual colored base for my shadow. And I'm applying this from my lash line all the way up to my brow bone. And you're going to see it cancels out um, any redness. Even though I put foundation on my eyes, it just cancels out all the redness. And then for my base, I'm going to use my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze which I used in my last video. It is really getting dry. I seriously need to get a new one because it's like gross in there. And I'm just going to apply this to the base of my eye. And bring it right up to the crease. So just right up to where that crease would be. Okay, so that's my base. Doesn't look fabulous, but that's okay. No one's going to know. So I'm going into my Mod Quad Baked Eyeshadow by Hard Candy. Um, and this is in Brownie Point. So these are baked shadows, and you can see there's like a lot of dust all over this. When you work with baked shadows, they're really um, flaky. So, because what they do is they make it into a liquid form of an eyeshadow, and then they bake it, and then that's how you get this like solid, like round mass like that. So I'm going to go into this top one right here. It's actually going to be lighter on the eyes than it looks in here, but it is still pretty pigmented. And I'm going to pack it on um, this flat brush right here. And I'm just going to start patting it on the eye. All the way up to the crease. And I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and just kind of start blending out these edges that I've created. Let me wipe off my brush and actually make sure it's clean. The worst thing is like when it's been dipped in blue and then you go put it on your eye to blend out a color and you think it's clean, but really you just start smearing blue around your eyes. That's the worst. I've totally done that about a zillion times. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into another palette. This is by Wet n Wild. Um, I am going to take this cream shadow right here at the bottom. And I'm going to use that just to highlight underneath my brow bone. Keeping this drugstore, ladies. And gentlemen, if there's a gentleman out there who likes to wear makeup. Keeping it drugstore. And then what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go into this white one right here. I'm going to pack that on my flat brush too. It's okay to use the same brush as long as you clean it off and you go, like, you, like, you clean in between uses. Um, I'm going to start packing this on the inner corner right here. And then sweep it up onto the lid. So it's just going to help open up the eye a little bit, give a little bit of dimension to the look. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, I am going to go into this darkest one. And on this kind of firmer blending brush. I'm going to start over here in the corner like this and start working it up on the corner and into the crease. And then you're going to take your fluffy blending brush and start blending that out as well. And because we already put that um, shadow down up here, it's really going to help blend this really easily. Because the pigment isn't going to cling to the bare eye. It's going to be able to move around a little bit easier. And so I'm sweeping it over here across the eye. And then I'm going to go in again, continue to just layer it up. You might experience a lot of fallout with these shadows because... There's a little bit of glitter in them, and they're baked shadows. They're not, like, you don't just tap them and get product. Like, you really have to rub it. So you can see, like, all around the shadow, there is, like, do you see that? Like, all that debris. So just still working it in that formation, and then blending it. Okay, and then I'm going to go on to the next eye. Um, my Coastal Sense BRCSO6 brush, it's that um, like flat but thin one. And I'm going to go into this palette by Wet n Wild, The Naked Truth. And I'm going to go into this um, darkest brown right here. Just a couple taps in there. Give it a good flick. And I'm just going to really work it right here on this outer corner. This is matte, so it's really going to give it some depth because the other shadows are all shimmer. It's primer that kind of helps with that. But um, for more mature eyes, glitter and like metallic looks are going to make your eyes look more wrinkled. So you should stick with matte. And I'm just going to build up that color just a little bit right here on the outside. I have a cat hair stuck to my lip. Oh, the most aggravating thing of life. And then I'm going to take a more precise angled brush and I'm going to go in that darkest brown again. This one right here. And then I'm just going to take that underneath the eye. I'm going to use my CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless Concealer Corrector. 
just take some on my finger, warm it up on the back of my hand, and pat that underneath the eye. And again, you're going to fix your line like that. Get that perfect line. This is how you cheat doing your eyeshadow. If you totally suck at staying in the lines, like me. This is what you do. I'm going to take my beauty blender, which is a nice wet sponge that really helps blend everything out really seamlessly. And I'm just going to bounce over that. And then I'm going to use the end that had the foundation on it just to help blend everything. And the best thing about this is it has like a little pointed top to it that you can really use, like just get right underneath your eye whisk. And then I'm going to set my face. I am going to use my MAC uh, Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Light. And then just take a big Eco Tools brush and just kind of start patting. Pat, pat, pat. And I feel my face to see if it is dry enough to my likings yet. What, what are these? The Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose Powder Foundation. I love the glow that this gives to your skin. So I'm just going to do a little bit. This is actually a little bit dark for me. This one right here that I have. <laughs> Whoopsie. It's okay. So I'm going to use my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced. And my Pro Contour Brush by Sephora. Just tap it in there. Give a little, quite a whack off. Now I'm going to start over here and work it down. People say the fishy face helps. That totally doesn't help me at all. I just move my cheeks over like that to help with that line. I really know where my line is at this point, so I don't really need to do many faces to get that line and I'm going to bring it around the hairline. I'm just switching brushes. This is a uh, Stila blush brush, a 24 blush brush. Uh, I got it in a little Christmas set and I really like it because it's a flat paddled brush so I can really work on my bronzer in the right spots with it. Blush that I used was my Pure Minerals Lava Rocks. So these would be perfect for women of color. Um, but they're good for me too because I like them. Ah! No rock left behind, that's what I say. So, yeah, they're these guys. They're really pigmented, so just tap it in there, tap, tap, tap off, and just start rolling it on your cheekies. I'm going to use NARS Albatross uh, highlighter like this. Doesn't really have glitter flakes. It's more of just a sheen. Let me see if I put it on the back of my hand. It's more of like a um, just a nice sheen. It just gives it a nice like gold shine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my Elf Small Tapered uh, brush. And just work it on the high parts. So I started in the inner corner. I'm going to wing it out. So
Okay, and then to wing it out, I just do my line and connect it. That was really sloppy, so I'm sorry. I'm going to use my Colossal Mascara, my favorite drugstore mascara. I've had it for years and years and years. Okay. And there is what I did in that um, picture that I posted. So this is the look. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any requests or anything, always make sure to let me know. And as always, thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.